Hi, I'm April Freeman. I am the program director at Warehouse 508, Albuquerque's Teen Art and Entertainment Center. We offer, um, oh, hold on. Okay, there it goes. Um, we offer urban art programs for young people ages 11 to 20. We have a DJ program, rock star programs, uh, break dancing, screen printing, capoeira, uh, lots of programs, a mural arts program. Uh, we're operated by NMX Sports. Uh, New Mexico Extreme Sports is a nonprofit organization promoting healthy lifestyle choices and offering opportunities for young people to explore the world through uh, snowboarding, skiing, uh, caving, climbing, rappelling, uh, skateboarding. Um, and NMX and 508 exists to offer safe spaces for creative exploration and expression. We work for that moment when a young person uh, discover something about him or herself that they didn't know they were capable of. That moment when a young person is inspired by their own potential. And we've been very honored to work with 516 Arts on the Heart of the City project. The Quantum Bridge mural is the visual for this project and was painted by Youth Apprentices in collaboration with artist Aaron Noble. Many artists approached us about painting on this 180 foot canvas, but Aaron was willing to mentor youth through the process. And the original design looked very different from what you see. Um, you can see a sketch of it in the front. Um, some of the spaces were uh, bright orange. They were very fiery and hot, and other parts were very fierce with sharp edges. Um, and uh, one of the apprentices suggested a cool, calming color, blue. And Aaron was open and willing to listen to the youth he worked with and willing to incorporate their ideas into his design so that the end product is a collaboration between youth and their mentor. And he learned just as much from them as they learned from him. And uh, someone suggested bones to represent our past stories. And you can see on the left, on the top, it's a, like a glacier structure where our past <coughs> stories are kind of frozen in time. Um, another uh, person was interested in crystals and what they represented. And uh, Aaron looked at crystal formations and incorporated them into the design of this bridge this yellow to orange, um, uh, it's a bridge forming between the present and the future. Um, another young person, a young poet, wanted to write poetry on the wall. And so Aaron encouraged them to create their own alphabet. And they painted part of the poem on the wall in their newly created lettering. And you can see it on the bottom right, this um, purple and blue uh, colors. Um, the energy cube is the most recognizable space. It's representing the present moment, the youth at 508, and the challenges um, they face in navigating the world. Um, and you can see they have all these structures. They're trying to build something. Um, there's like tinker toys and you know fabric, and they're trying to figure something out. Um, and you see black uh, smoke signals sending prayers up into the sky, maybe to the young person that we lost to bullying last year. Um, each artist has his or her favorite part of the mural, and mine is the Mandarin mother. She's incubating possibilities and represents our future potential. And in the final bridge, um, the future becomes pure data. It wraps around the back and uh, the future is unknown. Um, so I have some data that I thought was interesting when you're discussing at Urban Core. Um, uh, my uncle did a study recently of Main Street programs across the country. And the results from the New Mexico Main Street programs are astonishing. They found that for every taxpayer dollar invested into Main Street programs, um, the private sector comes in and invests $44. And that's more than twice the national average of $18 from private sector investors. And to me, this says a lot about New Mexico's commitment to community. Um, and it really shows that New Mexicans are proud of their cultural traditions and their art and creativity. Um, and that we're inspired by our own potential as a community. Um, in an interview, uh, when he was presenting the data, he said that businesses need each other to be successful. And if you see all of the organizations involved in the Heart of the City project, then you know that this is true. We need each other to be successful on a business level and a personal level. And so if you ask me what's my vision for the heart of the city, it's their vision. Um, these are some of the young people I work with. And they each have their own unique gifts, but they have common ideas about what's important. 
uh, one, um, one young lady, she's not up there, but she saw her friends cutting themselves. They're physically cutting themselves to um, relieve their own inner pain and suffering. And she didn't see any resources, and she wanted to raise awareness um, and find alternatives. And she sees art as that alternative. And so she's organizing actions and events, and um, uh, one of the she's doing uh, poetry workshops and body painting workshops. So it's self-expression through poetry and self-beautification rather than self-mutilation. Um, another one of our youth. Uh, took something that didn't belong to him, and maybe he felt like he didn't have much compared to others, but he lost everything. He lost his home, his family. He went to jail. And the, um, the experience and the lessons really uh, taught him about what's meaningful. And he's full of energy, and he's inspired to give back, so he's organizing um, fundraisers for the homeless shelter that he now works at. He's 15, and he knows the value of art in his life. And um, maybe it's the only thing that's gotten him through the challenging times and given him hope for the future. Um, so for these young people, art is the answer for the personal and the social challenges that we face. They know that we need each other to be successful, and I think that we should invest our time and resources into that. Um, if we take a lesson from Aaron and are open to the ideas and the visions of the young people who are the heart and the every other vital organ of the city, we can act as red and white blood cells and take these messages from this heart throughout the body of the city and we can come back with a common vision that makes art the answer. Because growing our urban core has everything to do with growing young people and their needs. Um, and... Uh, Every action in raising young people is a brushstroke on our personal and collective canvas. And maybe, maybe we'll see 24-hour um, art studios replace 24-hour McDonald's or 24-hour yoga studios next to 24-hour gas stations. Um, art has the ability to improve our collective mental health if we recognize that we're all artists co-creating in space and time. And I think that that's something that we can build on. And I think that's a core foundation. And I'm inspired by our potential. Thank you.